Hey guys, so I'm going to show you the super cool uh, magazine letter effect. It looks something like this. I actually have a file pack in the description with over 93 files. Check it out if you want and let's get into it. So let's get started. It's super easy. Just drag your background, bring that into your timeline. Now you're going to want to grab the folder you downloaded from the description below. Just drag that into your timeline as well. Once you have that, you can see all your letters appear. So now we're going to head into the Fusion tab and begin animating this. So first I'm just going to adjust my uh, media nodes here. Just make them far apart because we're going to need a lot of space for this one. Then once that's ready, you can go ahead and drag a background node in. And then you're just going to turn the alpha down. This is pretty much making like a PNG image. Now in your media folder, you're going to want to go ahead and start dragging in all of the text you want for whatever you want to spell. In our case, we're just going to spell out DaVinci Pro. Um, it's a little time consuming, so I'm going to speed it up here, but just drag all of your text in. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and start linking it to your background. Just take the end and link it to the background end. And you can do that for all of them and just create a nice structure of organized nodes. So now that that's done, you can go ahead and rename this. If you just hit F2 and then click it, you can rename it super quick. That's how I'm doing it here. I'm going to speed it up for you guys so you don't have to sit through all that. Um, but So once you have that, you can go ahead and connect this to our media out to see everything. They're all going to be on top of each other, so we're going to have to deal with that. So to do that, um, you just have to move all of them. You can sort it out however you want. I'm just going to move all of them so I can see them all and then adjust them after. Uh, however you want to do it, you can do it if you want to do this before or whatever. You just got to do this part. So get them all organized how you want them. I just want my text in the middle here, nothing crazy. And once everything's adjusted, we can go ahead and grab our background. So just get your media in, connect that, and then we're going to grab the end of that and merge it to that media in. And you can see we got our background with our text on there now. So I'm going to just grab all these and bring them up because I'm going to need some space here. And then go into effects, and we're going to grab our camera shake effect. So this is going to make our letters move a bit. I want them to rotate actually a lot instead of movement. So we're going to crank the rotate amplitude up. And then we're going to turn down the tilt amplitude and the pan amplitude. This should just make it rotate left and right. So I like that. And now we can go ahead and just drag this, copy it, and paste it in between all the other ones. Um, once you do this, you're going to realize that they move, but they all move the exact same. We don't really want that because it doesn't look too realistic. So what we're going to do to fix that is just drag the phase up for each of the clips. Make them all different. Pretty much, it's going to make all of these slightly off. So you can see, yeah, none of them are the same anymore. So our text is moving, but I also want the text to move into frame. So to do this, we're just going to grab one of the clips, set a keyframe in the middle here, and then we can go back to the start of the clip and just drag it out of frame. So pretty much it starts out of frame and then goes into frame. Uh, on that same keyframe there, we're going to go back and just select the keyframe. There we go. You can click that little arrow to get the exact keyframe and then just go to the other letters and set keyframes for all of those. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to speed it up here so you guys don't have to sit through all this. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like. I really appreciate it. And once that's done, you can go ahead and go to the first frame and then drag all of your clips out. Make sure you have keyframes set for all of these. DaVinci automatically sets keyframes, but you can never be too sure. So let's see, yep, all of them come into frame at the same time, and it looks pretty good. But what I want is a stop motion effect, kind of make the footage a little choppier. 
and DaVinci Resolve already has a stop motion effect built in. So just search up stop motion. We're going to add that in between our clip and our merge node. And so you're just going to set the frame repeat. If you crank it to 10, you can kind of see it's a bit too slow and stuff kind of gets cut out at the start. It's not really what we want. So we're going to set it down to 2 maybe. 2's a little quick even there. Maybe we'll set it to 3. See how that looks. Yeah, and that's looking pretty good. That's kind of how I wanted it. Um, so you can see it's it looks like stop motion, like authentic, kind of if you did this yourself, that's how it would look. We can go ahead in our edit tab and look at it. Looks pretty good. So yeah, you can see here all the letters in the pack. Uh, there's like 93 files or something. So there's a bunch of letters for each letter. I worked pretty hard on this if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.